It may seem easier to just log onto your smartphone and do everything online, but there is a lot to be said for just picking up the phone and calling. That's what a lot of people say. Yeah. In today's Two on Your Side, CBS 2's Christine Lazar joins us now with why booking your next vacation the old fashioned way may save you some money in the long run. You know, I always just assumed you were getting the best deal on the online sites. Yeah, they, they, right. I thought they'd take off. I thought that was the best way to do it, oh. but I was wrong. Oh. <laughs> so the key thing to remember when you're booking travel is that everything is negotiable. But that's tough to do if you just stick to booking online. These days, everything seems to be at our fingertips. Jump online and book a flight or check hotel availability. There's an app for that. When you do that, you're disenfranchising yourself from a lot of opportunity because only about 52% of the available inventory is actually online. The airlines, the hotels, the cruise lines, they hold back. CBS News travel editor Peter Greenberg says doing things the old-fashioned way can go a long way. Pick up the phone and have a conversation with the travel provider. An unsold hotel room or a cruise ship berth or an airline seat is revenue they will never recoup once the sun rises or the ship sails. So you need to have a conversation, but the way you have the conversation makes the difference. Greenberg suggests asking agents to look at every published fare they have. Then go to the bottom of the list with airfare and go up from there. That way you start picking the fare that you want as opposed to stepping up to the fare that they want. And he says there's no longer a magic day of the week to book, but do book 45 days in advance for the best price. With hotels, ask for incentives beyond the room rate. Will you throw in free parking? Can my kids stay free? Can my kids eat free? Will you get rid of that dreaded resort fee? And when booking an all-inclusive, be sure to read the fine print. What the asterisk is in the travel industry is an acknowledgement that they're about to lie to you uh, because it's going to tell you all the things that are suddenly not included. So once again, have a conversation before you ever book an all-inclusive so you get to a mutually agreeable definition of terms as to what all-inclusive really means. When it comes to travel, Greenberg calls the price the starting point. Everything is negotiable, and if you don't ask, you don't get. Also, using Airbnb or VRBO may be more cost-effective than a two- or three-star hotel. And if you do stick with a hotel, one with a two- or three-star rating is going to be more apt to give you a deal than a four-star hotel. And you can always pick up the phone, call, and look online, and then see where you get the better price. And you also said look at the bottom of the screen and work your way up versus yes. just going off the first thing you find. These companies are smart. What they want you to purchase is going to be at the top. So what they don't want you to purchase is going to be down at the bottom, and maybe there's a little more wiggle room down there. Interesting. All right. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Christine. Some great tips. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. And we want to ask you, can Two on Your Side help you out? Well, just email us at twoonyourside at cbs.com with your problem. Or on Twitter, use the hashtag 2 on your side, and we'll see what we can do to solve your problem.